So Dr. Smith received an additional award from a private foundation. In the notice of award, she lists herself as 10% effort. Um, currently, if you look at her effort and salary allocation, she's charging, she's spending 35% of her time on grant A, 15% um, on grant B, so 50% of her time is spent on grant work, 25% is spent on teaching, and 25% is spent on administration. So now she's asking for 10% of her salary on a new award at a private foundation. Um, what, are, what does she have to consider? Is it just, can she just go and say, I'm going to give that extra 10% without thinking of all the other work that she's done? No. Um, so in this case, we can't just insert another 10% into the pie so that she has 110% effort. We know that everybody wants to put in over 100% effort, be that star person, um, but we can't have 110% effort when we're talking about um, salary allocations and sponsored projects. You cannot charge more than what the IBS institutional based salary is. So that would put us. So over. our first option is to reduce the effort that she has on her non sponsored. So before she had 50% on her grants, um, she could still keep the 50% on grants A and B. She doesn't have to go to the sponsor and let them know that she's reducing those. Um, but she reduces the amount of time that she's spending on administrative work. Either she pushes that off to someone else, um, she kind of finds ways where it doesn't take as long to do this administrative work. Um, so she inserts that grant C 10% and cuts her admin work by 10%. So we still have 100% of the pie. Option two. Um, so before she was working a 40-hour work week, standard 40-hour work week, she cut out every day at 5 o'clock, made sure that she only meet, met those 45, 40 hours. Um, she could work more hours. So now you can base your effort on an increased number of hours. You're now working 45-hour work week. And when you think about that in relation to the charges, so before she was working about 20 hours on the two grants, she's still working 20 hours on those two grants. She increased her effort her time by five hours, and that's where she's getting um, the new grant is, is actually 11% when you base it on number of hours, but she's also reducing her administrative work from 25 to 22. So it's kind of a combination between the two. She's working more hours, and she's reducing her level of effort on um, her either her grants or her other activities. So we have a question that came in, but yeah. Christine. Do you have a question? Five hour work week. If the IBS is predicated on a 40 hour, where does this point B come from? I don't get that. So it, it's, you have one set of duties to do for the university. If it takes you 40 or it takes you, one person it could take 40 hours to do all of this and one it could take 45. So now we're, we're kind of basing what we're doing. So we're increasing how much we're working to get to there, but we're also reducing our effort on our other on our other things. So we're still working the same amount of time on these projects. And no increase of salary. No increase, no increase of increase. salary. It is. It is. So remember that it's you, what your base is when you're doing your effort. It's always based on all the duties that you're required to do. So even for us as administrators, if you are required to um, take on a new training to do to your faculty and you're working at night to get that training done and that's still part of what you're expected to do in your job. You're most likely not going to receive additional compensation for doing things that you're expected as part of those additional duties as assigned or part of your job. Now if you, if there are cases where things can be compensated over and above but generally faculty are adjusting their time. Any exempt employee is adjusting their time and working based on the hours it takes to do your job. Yeah. So. And in this case, they're also reducing their grants. So they need to consider, is this change greater than 25%? Because they might need to go to these grants and say, look, I took on a new grant. I was working 35, 35%, now I'm working 31. Um, does this res represent a 25% of change? Because then they need to go to that granting agency and tell them, look, I reduced this. I, ca I can't fulfill this commitment anymore because I have other duties. Mm -hmm. And they might also say to their chair, you know, look at, I've brought in all this grant funding and look at the success that it's had and um, that those types of things might be considered, say, if somebody's moving up in tenure or going from an assistant professor to a professor, different things like that. So salary can change in, in other ways. Um, it's just getting a grant and adding that, that 
to your portfolio might not necessarily. But if you're starting to work, if you're a faculty member and they're starting to work like 80 hours a week to get your job done, I mean, those are maybe some conversations as to what is expected in the appointment versus what is not. So there's yeah. other conversations that still happen, but um, for this to actually do our calculations.